If you're heading to a Starbucks this morning, you'll see something new, but it's not on the menu. Customers already have use of an app known as Square Wallet to pay for coffee and snacks. Well, starting today, there's also a digital tipping option. It gives you up to two hours to add a little something extra for the barista. Michelle Miller shows us how the technology is putting more money in workers' pockets. How about a macchiato? Skin latte, medium mocha. No problem. A cup of joe isn't what it used to be. Double espresso, chocolate, and vanilla syrup. And neither is the way you pay for one. More and more businesses are turning to Square, a streamlined alternative to traditional credit card readers, created by Twitter founder Jack Dorsey. Many of the company's more than 4 million customers are small business owners, like Jeremy Lyman. He co-founded Birch Coffee in New York City, we started using the technology about a year ago. With Square, we basically, we swipe their card, we flip it around, and then they close out the entire transaction. Customers are then faced with a screen, asking them how much they'd like to tip. Now you have the option, you can do one, two, or three, mm -hmm. you can do a custom amount. Or you could select no tip. Turns out, almost nobody wants to seem like a cheapskate. And Lyman says tipping with technology has skyrocketed. When people would come in and have to actually physically enter a tip amount and sign a receipt, we would be taking in about 100 per day, just on credit cards. The day we started using Square, it went up 100%. We talked to several small business owners who found the same drastic increase. Experts on consumer behavior cite a combination of factors. For one thing, the preset options eliminate the mental work. There is a lot of research on defaults, that defaults, strong defaults or suggestions actually make people do um, what those defaults or suggestions suggest. And then there's the guilt factor. I feel like sometimes people actually do feel bad pushing no tip. The amount of care and attention that these guys put towards a cappuccino and a latte is just, I mean, it warrants people being tipped. Research shows the cashless transaction makes that easier. And Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz told CBS this morning it's the way of the future. The consumer is going through a seismic change in which cash is going to, over time going to be obsolete. But as much as things are changing, it's going to be 475 now. Tipping is still optional, even if it doesn't always feel like it. It just makes it easier for someone to leave money when they're not, when they don't feel like they're leaving money. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, New York. Well, I think that's good news for workers who'll get well, some extra know, tips. It's interesting. In New York, cab drivers resisted credit cards. They didn't like the idea of it, but they found that all, they got more tips. Absolutely. You know, electronically, people tip more. Yeah. When so, you use your credit card, you spend more than when you use cash. Yeah.